He's feeling the pain because Leap to Fame explodes away. He's limbering up perfectly for the big show and Leap to Fame goes down to the line under a throttle hold. Obviously, we're going to set our sights on a really big race. But anyway, one thing we know for certain is that Leap to Fame is going to be the favourite for the race. But if you think of it, his main aim has been to win the distance races, the races for, such as the Inner Dominion, the Hunter Cup and, and things of that nature. He's a great stayer. You'll only see the best of him in these staying races. And the Eurekas, which again will suit him. Larry's back in action, bound for the big dance in Sydney. Who knows, I mean, the, the outcome of the Eureka, but he'll be in there fighting for first place. Um, and of course, that would be the crowning glory for Kay and myself, to win a $2 million race, the richest race in the world for harness racing. Um, I think that should be everyone's ambition. As far as the favourite is concerned, the Queensland star leap to fame. He arrived in Sydney, so he's got down there nice and early, but Grant and Trista Dixon, they're really happy with the way they've been able to attack this race. So he's arrived in Sydney. They'll just keep ticking along this week, obviously, in lead up to next Saturday night. Uh, Grant's a, a master tactician and a master horseman. Um, he's made sure this horse hasn't been over raced. Uh, he's kept him in cotton wool to a certain degree. Grant and Trista Dixon, Grant driving, four-year-old bay horse by Betters Delight. Out of the art major mare, let us reason. Bred by the Carla Feltz, Red Bank Lodge, raced by Kevin and Kay Seymour. He's only a four-year-old, got a lot of racing ahead of him. So Grant's going to space out the races and make sure he protects him and um, make sure that he's got a horse for the Grand Circuit when these current races are finished. And there's our local champ, Leap to Fame, doing what Leap to Fame does best, winning. <laughs>